हेलो गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न दैट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शन विद इन दी पाई चार्म और पाइथन पाई चार्म इज अवर सॉफ्टवेयर इन व्हिच वी आर डिप्लॉइंग द कोड ऑफ द पाइथन सो फर्स्ट आई विल राइट द सिंटैक्स एंड देन आई आई विल एक्सप्लेन Okay, so also here semicolon, and then I will write int r, or just r. No, no need to write int. Then we can write anything like uh, so how it used to work first of all uh, we have the upper part uh, this one that is def delta a comma b so uh, def is a built in word or command of the python which is used for the define or definition that what we are going to define so you need to write this command as it is then you need to write the name of the function her name of the function is anything like you can write her alpha beta gamma lima or anything like that delta or anything like that it's it's not going to affect your program then write any name then two braces and you need to put two variables inside it and then semicolon okay so whenever okay now this is our first line then in second line what is going to be done is that that this function delta will take two type two integers and how it it used to take it used to take from from this line number 8 that when we used to put like any any sort of two variables here it does not affect it will just go in link to this line and delta will take this r and g instead of ab okay r this r value is passed to a and g value is passed to b and then what will happen that uh, a plus b will be done and their addition or their sum is stored inside this variable sum then return sum means that the function will take the value of this sum okay so whenever we uh, then we we need to write like r is equal to 10 and g is equal to 12 then what what will happen that sum is equal to delta or comma g it simply means that instead of r it is 10 and instead of g it is 12 and both these values are passed to this then their answer is stored inside this and then it is again sent to this delta function and then from delta function it is stored inside this sum variable or here uh, you don't need to write sum exactly uh, you just you just can write sum sum one okay uh, you don't need to write this uh, the same name again okay so it is so again we can uh, do one more thing like add one is equal to delta we can say that uh, any two things like uh, int h sorry just h h is equal to 9 t is equal to um 12 and h comma 12 h comma t okay now we will see their answer that uh, uh, what will be their output okay indentation error so so you need to do it like that so run it and okay okay so 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 we will uh, 
write print eight one. So we will see its output. So answer is twenty one. So what will happen actually that uh, the value of H and T is gone to or assigned to this A and B from via this function delta H T or delta AB it's this is of same meaning so the values are transferred from h is equal to 9 t is equal to 12 to a and b and then their uh, arithmetic operation is done that is addition then the answer is stored inside this sum and then after this sum the answer is passed to uh, again return to this delta function and then from delta it is given to a1 so we got our answer so hopefully you like uh, this concept so thanks for watching